What you guys, today we're taking a look at how to extend 10 days of rollback period to 60 days. Now, if you've updated to the very latest version of Windows 11, which takes you up to 22H2, then you will have 10 days to test this out and see whether you like it or not. If you're having issues with Windows 10 or Windows 11, the rollback feature is there to help you roll back to the previous version before you updated. Now, the problem is Microsoft have shortened this down from 60 days to 10 days, which means by default, you only have 10 days to roll back. Now, 10 days to roll back is hardly any time at all. And if you miss that deadline, you will not be able to roll back to your previous version of Windows because you will have to do a fresh install. And there's another issue with that, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. So let me go ahead and uh, get this updated and I will show you exactly what this rollback feature is. Now I need to update to show you and I will roll back myself because I don't want to be on 22H2, but I'll show you here anyway. So now I've updated Windows. So I'm gonna type Winver in the search box here and you can see here I'm on the latest version 22H2. Now, if I want to go back to my previous version of Windows, which will be 21, uh, H2, then I would have 10 days to roll that back to that version after updating. And this can be said for any version of Windows, including Windows 10 and Windows 11, any version, you have 10 days to roll back. After that 10 day period, you will lose the ability to roll back to the previous version. So I'm just gonna quickly do some updates here. And then I'll show you this system area here. Inside the system area, come down to where it says recovery and in the recovery section you will see an area saying go back if you don't see this area here and it's grayed out it means you've gone past the 10 days to roll back but there is a a go back button here which i can click on and roll back to the previous versions now obviously it's always important to back up your data before you even roll back or update windows because things can go wrong it's your responsibility to make sure you have backups of all your data. So let's take a look at how we can, can extend uh, this from 10 days to 60 days. Type CMD inside the search box here and open up the command prompt as administrator. You can see here administrator command prompt in the top left. Now we can type in this command here and this will tell us how long we have to roll back. So let me push enter and you should see uninstall Windows and the number 10. The number 10 is 10 days. So it's telling me we have 10 days to use the rollback feature. And this is by default. Now, if you want to extend this to the maximum of 60 days, then you can do by typing this command in and this will give us 60 days. So you can put this command in here and push value colon 60 at the end of it and this will give us 60 days push enter on this and then when we push enter i'll show you we can check it again so let's go back and do the first command again and this will tell us whether we've changed this from 10 days to 60 days so let's go ahead and use our up arrows on our cursor keys select the first command that we uh, did earlier on and then push enter and you can see here uninstall windows 60 which now makes it 60 days this is much more user friendly it gives you 60 days to try out the latest build and if there's any problems you're having you can always roll back so we do have 60 days now to roll back to our previous build which i think should be by default 10 days is just not long enough to see whether you're having any issues with your version of windows so you could have had major problems and within 10 days if you don't roll back you're gonna to have to do a fresh install. Now, of course, if you do a fresh install, this is where the second problem comes in, which means you head over to the Windows 11 download center where you can download the media creation tool to create your bootable media, or you download the ISO file here, and guess what is gonna install? It's gonna install 22H2, the very latest version of, of Windows, because they always keep this updated and they give you the latest version. So if you wanted to go back to your previously old version, then you're not gonna be able to use the Microsoft website to do that because it's gonna make you use 22H2 now. So if you're having issues with 22H2 and you've already updated, you may as well stay with it because doing a fresh install is not gonna solve your problem 
because you'll only be installing 22H2 again. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. That's basically how you can extend from 10 days to 60 days. Just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support. And also another special shout out goes to Ron Hicks, Celtic Lad, Edward Kelly, RTX Brody, Gary Capic, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony and Albert Hewson. I shall catch you on the Discord server and I shall see you again in the very next video. Bye for now.